and I am all the day in the vineyard. So my, my, my work as a winemaker is not to do the wine in the winery, it's to be in the, in the vines. Huh? There's, uh, there's teams of winemakers in the winery making the wine. I normally go to the vineyards early in the morning, every day. And some days I stay all the day in the vineyard, and some days I just go half a day, and then in the afternoon I always finish in the winery. So from here when we finish, I'll go to the winery. But wine is about a style, it's about a way of living, it's about life, you know that? And that's why we believe. So we have the good thing that our boss and owner, Gonzalo, for him is a hobby. So we, the winemakers and viticulturists, plus the commercial part, we make the decisions for his company. So it's a very young team, well, that we were very young, we're still very young, but some were are older after 10 or 15 years. All this wine company is still very, very young and growing in attitude and style. Uh, but this, this vineyard is about colors, it's about Chilean wildlife, it's about uh, Chilean trees, it's about hillsides. It's a very extreme vineyard, it's not an easy vineyard. Huh? It makes some amazing wines and some blocks are very bad, the minimum. So we're changing, it's a, always a process. This trip we're doing is this is how people harvest. People harvest there with football shoes or soccer shoes. La Robleria. Huh? Means the oaks? Yeah, or the place of the oaks, something like that. Good. So, a little bit this, uh, you know, um, how do you say, this rustic uh, onion bog that we have here, it's not so easy to come here. But it just shows you how difficult it is for everything, uh, for manage the vineyards, to bring people here, the people come by tractor, so, So uh, it is a very extreme vineyard, but sometimes the extreme things produce some extreme wines as well. Huh? So here is the mountain. We were talking about soils and size. So that part of the of the hillside over there has some volcanic type of soils. Uh, the more darker stones are more volcanic type of soils, but all those more white and yellow stones on the upper part are granite stones. Stones. So so in general, this is a more granite type of stones that we have here. Uh, but there are some other types of stones. So, if you see, there's full of stones everywhere, and we're in the highest Carmenere of um, of Abalta. This is the highest vineyard of Abalta, with the one that we have a Cabernet and a Syrah just beside. So this leaf, if we get a Merlot leaf, is almost exactly the same. Big difference between the Merlot and this leaf that the Merlot grape normally will be the leaf will be a dark green, and this is normally a light green. I'm blind color, so I suppose it's light green. No, it is not. No, it's red. Red. <laughs> well, I have, I have problems with red and green. One of my biggest problems. So, then the second thing about this leaf is that always, always carboneres, there's two. Ah. I don't know. There's parts of the leaf. Okay. Always on the back. Two wings. The two wings, exactly. The two wings on the back. They always cross. And Merlot is like that. Has yeah. like the shape of a boat on the back. Can we turn it this way, please. Yeah. Yeah. So Merlot is always like that, but Carmenere always crosses over. Always. That's the main difference when you. But the leaf is very similar between Merlot and Carmenere. Then in the in the at, in the in September, that is our springtime. Uh, the small tips. This tips here we won't see it because it's late tart. The, when you have the small the the small leaves, the Carmenere is red color. It's a light red color, and the Merlot is a very light green color, almost white. It's like a white green. Okay, so that's the second difference. And in the bunch, they're very similar. But if you taste the grape of a Merlot when it's a little bit green, it's a little, it has more fruit flavor. <coughs> it has more red fruit on it. it the, but when the Carmenere is um, very early times, it's very, very green. It's like green beans uh, and black pepper and there's not a lot of flavors. 
Carmenere is, is a rarity because the seeds and the flavor profile and the sugar and the acidity is there from about a month before you harvest. Carmenere is a very rare variety, that's why it's so tough as a variety, because it has an enormous amount of pyrazines, that means okay, the green flavors, in the skin. And the only way to get rid of, rid of the pyrazines is light. It's not warm, it's light. It needs a lot of light. So if you see, we have exposed our bunches. We have all the leaves up and we have a, a quite big exposure to the bunches through that. And that we do it in all our carmineres. So I'm waiting till the skins get a little bit rid of that. And because that greenness, that, uh, that piercing also, also give me a little bit of bitterness. It's a very thick skin. If you see the skin of the, of the carmineres, it's one of the thickest, thickest skins that I know. At least in the Chilean varieties. Now the Chilean typical varieties, Cabernet, Merlot, Syrah, Petit Verdot, Cabernet Franc, is still always the thickest. So it can receive three or four rains at the, at the end of the vintage. It, it won't care. It doesn't suffer with the sun. Well, Carmenere comes from the color Carmine. Uh, Carmine is a very like red, dark color, you know? Uh, that's what it meant. So it's a very black color, like Syrah in general. Um, but the problem is pH. So I don't know this vintage. I'm harvesting earlier each year, but not to get green. I'm always fighting in DH to get a mature wine, not green, but the earliest I can. So I get less sugar, so I have a more balanced wine. And I retain a little bit more acid. That's that's the game today. It depends a lot a lot on the year. Some years you will get it, like last year you saw that fresh Carmenere, beautiful, not very green, but very spicy, but very fresh. This year is going to be a completely different wine, I think, but we're, we don't want to lose that freshness, so we will harvest if we need to a month earlier, we'll do it. I don't, I don't care. We normally don't come very often here because how tough it is to come here. But I thought if you're going to be in Chile, let's make it work. Yeah. Cheers. It's great to come up here. It's really great. <laughs>